we are settled at home or at work, we are structured, we are disciplined. The moment we start to travel, suddenly many of these disciplines are put on hold. The same thing applies to Jewish observance and Torah practice too. At home, we are disciplined, we are structured, we are observant. But many times when we travel, these areas of observance are put on hold. Why? Because we find them more challenging and more difficult. Well, the Torah addresses this in the opening verse this week. In Bechokotai Telecho, if you shall work, walk in my ways. And the Orachaim highlights the word, you shall walk. And he says this applies to travel time, to holiday time. Often when we're on holiday, we justify why it's not so simple to observe Torah practice. It's more difficult to keep kashrut. There's not so much time to study Torah. I don't attend shul because it's not my shul that I'm accustomed to back at home. Well, here the Torah tells us, and specifically there, that we need to practice the Torah way of life. Our role is to sanctify the name of God. The way we do that is by observing His mitzvot and studying His Torah. We do it at home, and we equally need to do it. It's equally important to do it when we're traveling. We are entering into areas, cities, or countries where it's not common for people to practice the way of the Torah. And it's our role to do so and to sanctify the name of God while we're traveling. In fact, observing God's ways on holiday or while traveling is a greater sign of commitment in a way than doing it back at home. That's the message of Teleichu, while we travel. So the message is keep on walking. But the message is also keep on practicing. Shabbat Shalom.